pretty start. All right, welcome back to Tidwell Aviation. I got Sophie with me. She says she's ready to start. So before she gets the camera shot, that's what we're doing, we're starting. I still ain't looked at directions. I ain't planning on it, but who knows? I may have to break down and read the directions for something. Anyway, so what we're gonna start with, where are you going? Just in case. Okay, just in case. <laughs> You done? Yep. Are you done? Yeah. All right. I'm going to start working on the tail. So, if you going to help me do this? Yeah. Hey, right, which, out of these two rods right here, which is the heavy one? Which is the heavy which one? Which is the heavy? I want the heavy one that I'm going to put in here. Not the plastic, that's right. We need the metal. All right, grab those right there. If I start moving boxes, I can move box. These two bad things? Yes. There you go. All right, find me one that would go on the right and one that would go on the left. Okay. That's how they go. Another way you can look at it, look at yourself. What? See that servo? Yeah. This side has to be the one that has the horn on it. Which one's got a horn? Servo horn. Mm -hmm. That one. Alrighty. You get this pushed in, I want you to push that one up there. Alright. Looking. Push it in here. how hard it is. That's real hard, ain't it? Look here, everybody. It's so easy that eight-year-old and a 44-year-old can do it. All right. You only got one left, so what do you think goes right here? This one. That one. All right. Put that down in there. Or on there. You're backwards. Uh -huh. Now look. What? See that hole right there? Yes. That hole has to go. That's the line up. Put that on there. Right. There you go. Can we push it? Yes, please. All right. It's in. That is so easy and it's easy and it's in. And they give you this clear tape to put on this to anchor it, which that's all fine and well. I'm gonna try this. It may end up biting me later. You know what? Actually, I'm not. I can't peel it off. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use Gorilla Tape. Clear Gorilla Tape is your friend. And that's what I'm gonna secure this with. I'm gonna put a piece on the top, on each side, and a piece on the bottom. And I can't even do it either. Now if you're planning on transporting this plane without, with these off, You'll need to leave one side or one side or both sides untaped to make it smaller, depending on what your vehicle is. Can you look like you're taping some bottom and top. Bottom and top. Now while you're at this stage, go ahead and work at just a little. Okay, out of these push rods, there's two the same, you got one that's different. We're gonna put the different one on this. I hope it look cool. All right. Next thing, I'm gonna work on the bottom wing. You have two plug-ins for the wing. I strongly, strongly suggest, because I've had crazy stuff happen, that these will 
come unplugged while you're in there. I've had it to happen on elevator, that wasn't pretty. Rudder, you can fly without a rudder. Ailerons, you can fly without radio ailerons if you got the rudder. We just put these connectors on there, they're cheap. You can get them about anywhere. They just simply slide on. Also in here, you'll find a pigtail for your safe select if that's what you're gonna use. I'm actually not hooking them up right now. I'm just gonna do a static display. I'll actually undo this. And I'll, made and I'll tell you why here in just a minute. You got this key, one key. Slide it down in there. Twist it. If you got fat fingers, you can't hardly get it in there. <laughs> There we go. Next, putting on the landing gear. Three screws that are identical, then you got one that ain't. Guess what? Without reading the directions, I'm gonna assume that these three screws go right one, two, and three. Tidy, lefty, loosey. Then you need to go my way. Right. Correct. Correct is correct. There you go. You gotta push hard. Alright, tighten it. Go to the next one. You don't want to over tighten them. Mine's kind of sideways. It's fine. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Next. Let's put on the top wing. Top wing. Cool. But to cheat just a little bit, <laughs> if you look on these, it's actually rope. Top with an arrow. They made it dummy proof for me. Because if you look up all the this and that for dummies, I'm the the spokesperson of it. That's out. That's wrong prop for this plane. Yep. I'll move. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the box. You set down this down. on here. Laying down under there. You just simply slide this in. And you'll feel it lock in place. That hangs out just a little. Go to the next one. Find where it says top with air. I got ping pong balls. I have a double. That'll work. Only two that I'm not really good. I'm only smacking my head. So I'm spinning, spinning back at this. Well, this one's being stubborn. Let's try a different one. It's okay. And Craig will probably do this. Look at that. 
What do you think about it? Pretty cool. Pretty cool? You like it. Alright. It also matches this table we have. This just simply lines up in here. actually a slot that that goes in in the front. Yeah. Push it in, you hit here, click. You can actually feel this come out the bottom as well. So you kind of know when it clicks. It looks like be easy with that, stuff. put that up. And make sure... You want to try pushing this one in, it's over? Oh yes. Where is it going? Right here. You just push it straight in. All the way till it touches. There you go. Like that or nope, a little more. bit more. There I don't it is. Wanna break it. You don't want to break a brand new plane? Yeah, because brand new planes always look so good when they're fresh. I just hope I don't break it before I pay it off. True. <laughs> Tower Hobby, easy pay is my downfall in life. Alright. No, that Guess what, Sophie? One thing left. You don't need those. What the? Those are for shipping. Here, I'll let you. Push it on. No. This will screw right in the end. You can do it. Okay. That seems a little hard. All right. Okay. There you have it. The ultimate 3D from Verizon, or from, uh, I guess you could say Horizon. I got mine from Tower. Uh, e Flight makes it. And one thing I mentioned, I'm going to take this apart later. I'm going to spray all of it with this. It's polycrylic, protective finish, water based, made by Minwax. And I spray all my foamies now, especially my jets. It uh, stiffens them up. Uh, there's less hanger rash um, you can actually if you want something shiny you can make it shiny you can dull it you can get you know this it's clear satin that's what I always use and that's it um, nope it ain't it either can I get the other plane behind you can I get the no you're not getting the plane behind me we done that one yesterday I forgot about these for the <laughs> the thing See what you do, you look around, see how many pieces you got left. If you ain't got no pieces, you know you done it. Semi right anyway. That was very hard for me to do. Nah, it's so easy, even a Jason can do it. Even like everybody else. That's it. No if it was bound up, I could go flying, but it ain't. Well, thank you for watching Tube Well Aviation. Until next time.